Hello everyone. A new version of Unity's AR Foundation, version 6.0.2, has recently been released. It brings some exciting new features for those developing for the Meta Quest 3 using the XR Interaction Toolkit. These features include access to spatial data such as meshes and bounding boxes, persistent anchors, and the ability to trigger the Quest's space setup process from within your app. To take advantage of these features, you will need to import the latest Unity OpenXR Meta Package into your Unity project. This OpenXR Meta Package works in conjunction with AR Foundation to provide your Quest app with augmented reality capabilities. Indeed, if you have been following my How to Make a Mixed Reality App for the Quest 3 course, you are already familiar with working with this package. Regardless, you might be interested to know that Unity has produced an AR Foundation Samples project which can be downloaded for free from GitHub. This project has been updated to include a demo scene specifically for the MetaQuest. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download, set up, build, and deploy this project to your MetaQuest 3. OK, let's get started. Open a web browser and go to this GitHub page, link in the description. We want to download a copy of this Unity project to your PC. Click on the green code button. If you are familiar with GitHub, then I would recommend that you clone the repository to your local machine. However, we are simply going to download a zip of the entire project. Click on Download Zip. Go to your Downloads folder and find the AR Foundation Samples zip. Extract the zip to your Unity Projects folder. Now, open Unity Hub. Open the AR Foundation Samples project in the latest version of Unity 6. During the loading process, this dialog box may appear, alerting you to some compilation errors. We will fix these in due course, so click Ignore for now. Once the Unity editor has loaded, this project validation window may pop up. Close it for now. The first thing we will do is set up our build settings. Go to the top menu bar, click on File, and then select Build Settings. In the Build Settings window, select the Android platform. Under Platform Settings, set Texture Compression to ASTC. Now, in the top right of the window, click Switch Platform. Wait for Unity to finish recompiling the project's assets. Now click on the Open Scene List button. Only a handful of scenes have been specifically designed to work on the quest. We need to ensure that we include only these scenes in our build. Include these eight scenes in your scene list and remove all the others. Also, make sure that the Meta Menu scene is the first item in the scene list. You can now close the Build Profiles window. Now select the Project tab and from Assets select the Scenes folder. Within this folder you should find the Meta Menu scene. Open it. The Meta Menu scene will be the first scene that loads, whereupon you will be presented with this menu. Note that each of these menu items will open one of the scenes included in the Scene list in Build Settings. OK, reselect the Console tab. Notice that we have a couple of errors, both stating that the type or namespace name Newton Soft could not be found. This is due to a missing JSON library. We will fix this now. Go to the top menu bar and select Window, and then Package Manager. In the Package Manager window, click on the plus sign in the top left corner. A drop-down menu will appear. Select Install Package by Name. Next a small panel will appear with two text fields for entering the name and version of a package. In the name text field type the following com.unity.nuget.newtonsoft-json Now click the Install button. The Newtonsoft JSON package will now be imported into your project and this should fix the previous errors. I'm taking a quick look at the version history here. This would be a good point to check for any updates to packages used in the project. Once you have finished updating your packages, close the package manager. In order for this project to run smoothly on the quest, we need to change a few things in project settings. Go to the top menu bar and select edit and then project settings. In project settings, go to the sidebar and select player. In the player section, under other settings, find the graphics APIs setting. Set this exclusively to Vulkan. 
scroll down to the Identification subsection and set the minimum API level to Android 12, API level 32. Now go to the sidebar and select XR Plugin Management. Make sure you have the Android tab selected. In the Plugin Providers section, tick the Open XR checkbox. Underneath this, you should see a MetaQuest Feature Group checkbox. Ensure that this is also checked and make sure all other providers are unchecked. In the sidebar, under XR Plugin Management, select Open XR. Make sure your Open XR settings match what I have here. Importantly, you need to have the Oculus Touch Controller profile enabled and, under Open XR Feature Groups, ensure MetaQuest is checked. Also, make sure all these features are enabled. OK, we are pretty much done here. You can now close the Project Settings window. Our project is now set up to perform well when deployed to the Quest 3. So let's go ahead and create a build, make sure everything is saved, and go back to Build Settings. Ensure that your Quest is connected. Go to Run Device and make sure that it is set to Quest 3. You can now hit Build and Run to launch a new build. This AR Foundation demo showcases a number of augmented reality features that are now available to those developing for the Quest using the XR Interaction Toolkit. For me, the most significant new feature is Persistent Anchors. Let's take a quick look at them. You can place anchors by pressing the Trigger button. Once you have placed a few, go to the floating UI and select Persistent Anchors. You will see a list of your recently placed anchors and be able to save them individually. If you then exit the app and restart it, you can return to the Anchors scene and reload any of your previously saved anchors. You will see that those anchors are once again present in the scene, in their previous positions. Anyway, I'll let you explore the remaining features yourself. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, or leave a comment. Happy developing, and see you in the next video.